Hello, Brad here again, and I want to do a fragrance review on a sample of Ed Hardy's Skulls and Roses. And this is the men's version, and uh, not really much inside the card to speak of. Just a picture of a skull, Skulls and Roses, Ed Hardy. Um, this fragrance was just released this year, 2012. In the notes, we have a bergamot, cardamom, lavender, moss, and musk. Um, if you look at uh, Fragrantica's reviews, a lot of the reviewers are basically just writing this one off as a uh, imitation of Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. Now, I have never smelled that fragrance before, so I didn't really, you know, think it was anything too discouraging for me because I figured, you know, even if it smelled exactly like Fierce, I haven't smelled Fierce, so I can't really, you know, discount this fragrance just because of those comparisons. But uh, when I did first apply this fragrance, it did have a very familiar feel to it and smell. I was getting like that lemon, orange, pineapple, citrus with like a um, lavender, fresh laundry feel. Maybe a touch of moss in the background. And then it finally hit me after about 10-15 minutes. It smells a lot like Liz Claiborne's Curve. So for me, this one is kind of... A disappointment just kind of a rehash of a, a 90s favorite right there um, you know it comes in this interesting skull bottle I believe the men's version has a black skull shaped bottle the women's version more of a white skull shaped bottle which is a completely different fragrance but uh, yeah the men's version very similar to curve to my nose um, not much more I can say about it um, you know, it, it is a nice, pleasing fragrance. I didn't get any compliments on it, but it seemed to perform pretty well. Uh, let me give you my overall thoughts here. Smell, 7 out of 10. Nice, but it's been done before. Projection longevity, 8 out of 10. But I actually held up pretty well um, for a day wear fragrance. Uniqueness, give it 4 out of 10 because of the curve similarity, which is also often compared to fierce in terms of its smell. Versatility, I give it 7 out of 10. Probably best for spring, summer, but could be worn year-round because it is a fresh fragrance. Price point, probably going to run you about $50, $60 a bottle. Pretty high end for what you're getting. Could probably find a cheaper alternative like Curve um, at Walmart. So I'm going to give price point about 6 out of 10. My overall score for this one, a measly 5 out of 10. Nice, but uh, I think it's more of a gimmicky kind of a thing with the Ed Hardy logo and the uh, the skull shaped bottle and everything. I would probably say Love and Luck is still their most uh, you know wise purchase for most people. So uh, that's my thoughts on uh, that one. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.